A downtown Erie sweet spot, Cafe 710, is expanding. The mother-daughter owned and operated business has seen much success over the years. And the owner says this Black History Month story is the ideal time to just grow their business. Philip Ward stopped by the cafe tonight. And Philip, you say a recent setback wasn't enough to slow them down. Not at all, Emily and Mike. In fact, the cafe is looking forward to making Erie sweeter than ever after surviving an incident of vandalism last month. Someone yelled, hit the floor, hit the floor. So everyone hit the floor. Mabel Howard recalls when she heard someone shatter the window of her cafe. All of a sudden we heard a loud smash. So everybody thought maybe bullets or something was coming through the window. Because of the damage, the cafe had to close down. But now they are open again, and Howard says she is grateful for the support she received. The Erie community showed their love from that night of the incident, like minutes after it occurred, all the way until this day. And Cafe 710 isn't slowing down. In fact, they're adding on. We're expanding with a brownie bar. Here we have our espresso brownies. Howard was kind enough to give me a closer look and taste of some of the brand new treats. Recently, we've been getting a lot of comments on our brownies. So I'm like, hey, show your customers that you're listening and give them more brownies. Two lucky customers were able to buy early, and one of them isn't even a fan of brownies. I don't like brownies. Don't eat them. Can't even buy them at the store. But hers, mm, they're really good. They're really, really good. Good vibes, and, you know, you got a sweet tooth, I'll come here. Howard says part of the new bar is in honor of Black History Month. Brown girl, brown eyed girl at the Brownie Bar. Brownie Bar is now open. And you can enjoy some of those brownies at Cafe 710 when they open at noon tomorrow. And fittingly, you have until 710 in the evening to indulge like I may have tonight. Live in the studio, Philip Ward, Erie News Now.